Kyle, um, good to get back on the pitch again and nice to get a win at the weekend, I'm sure. Um, what has that done for the confidence at the club and within the, in the squad? Yeah, brilliant. Um, since Christmas, we've had a, a shaky run of form, but it's good to get back one in at the weekend and hopefully we can take a lot of confidence from it. You're going to a place you know well tomorrow. Could they be in better form at the moment? Um, possible. They've been playing well at the minute, but um, the last time we played them, they were also in good form. We managed to beat them, so hopefully we can take confidence from that. I'm sure it'll be a good game, but hopefully we can get the result. I'm sure you know Jim Goodwin well. What is what is he like in the, in the as, as a manager as opposed to um, as a player? And did he change? Yeah, well, I watched him quite a lot as a player, and he was hard on tackles and shouting a lot. But he was actually pretty relaxed as a manager. He's a good guy and good tactics and good good man manager. All the boys liked him at St Mirren, so it's good to see that he's doing well. Big game tomorrow night, isn't it? In terms of trying to push again upwards towards the, the top end of the league. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're always trying to look up and try and uh, go into every game with as much confidence as possible and look to take something from every game. So, yeah, it'll be a good game tomorrow and hopefully we can take it and take the one. That's good. Cool. With the unpredictability of the season so far, is it realistic to say that Hibs should really be aiming for that second spot this season? Yeah, well, there's always a chance. Um, it's going to be good towards the end of the season if Celtic um, keep dropping points and us Aberdeen Levy keep picking up points, it'll be good um, to see who can um, Celtic are quite a lot ahead just now, but if they keep dropping points and we keep picking up points, it'll be good towards the end of the season. There's a lot of transfer speculation around the club at the moment, but how important would it be for you to, to keep this current unit together? Yeah, definitely. The boys have obviously been linked on massive players for the club and it'd be good to keep them, but ultimately it just shows how well they've been doing. Other teams are interested and it's, it's always good to see and they'll take confidence from that as well. Thank you. Uh, how do you feel your uh, your own personal fitness has obviously come back from injury? You feel back to 100% just now? Yeah, well, obviously training and stuff's a lot different from playing minutes in the game, so in training I feel good, but just that match fitness and it and just try and get as many minutes under my belt as possible. How's it playing under Jack at the moment? Um, obviously, you're a team with a lot of good players, a lot of good attacking options. How is it for you as an attacking player when there's so much tactical flexibility? Do you like changing position, changing the roles a lot? Yeah, well, I've, I've done that um, all through my career. Um, albeit I'm still young, but I've, I've played quite a lot of games. But yeah, I've, I've played all over the park. Um, centre mid, out wide, in the hole, full back at times. So, yeah, it's just something I've been used to growing up and it's, I enjoy doing it. Any preference, the classic, or want to play in the hole or are you just happy to be anywhere? I'm just happy to be on the park and get some minutes. Thanks, Jack. Obviously, it's, um, it's deadline day today. Is it nice for you to sort of look back and be settled, not like the last transfer window? Yeah, it's always good to be settled. I'm enjoying my time here and Hopefully, I have a um, good few more years here and keep doing well. And how was it for you sort of making that move sort of in the, the final stages of the window? Because I can imagine it's probably quite different moving late on. Yeah, it was all right. It's more the agents and the clubs that kind of deal with it. So I was just keeping my head down. And, and once it happened, it happened. Yeah. How have Ryan and Kevin been in training? Because obviously, with the, the Bids coming in like that, does that affect players? How do, when, or did you just have to concentrate on the training? No, both of them have been fully committed to Hibs. Um, always brilliant at training. And I'm sure that they'll just be keeping my head down like I was doing and, and letting the other people deal with it. Does it affect players when you know that other clubs are, are looking at you? Is it, is the, how, how, how does it affect a player? when it gets so close to a deadline and you don't know perhaps where you might might be playing in a couple of days' time? I can't really speak for anybody else, but I know for me that I was just keeping my head down, working as hard as I could, and if it happened, it happened. And just need to, it's your job at the end of the day, so I still contracted to have to just need to work as hard as I can here. Uh, obviously, your old club uh, tomorrow night. How confident do you think they're going to be after such a fantastic result of the weekend going to Parkhead and getting that win? 
Yeah, definitely. It'll be high in confidence, but so we were always confident going into every game. So I'm sure it'll be a good game. Hi, Kyle. Um, great to see you. You've got, as you said, a couple of minutes under your belt recently, but uh, with a short turnaround with the game on Tuesday, how difficult is that for a team or does it not make too much difference? Yeah, I don't think it makes too much difference. Well, we're all fat and healthy boys. We train every day, so it shouldn't make too much difference. And I've got a big squad, so if anybody was struggling or anything, then it's easy to rotate. And as you say, you've got quite a big squad and you'll be pushing to get into the, the starting lineup. What are you personally working on in your own game in your own game at the moment to get into that starting lineup? Just my fitness. Um, obviously I've been out for a long time, so I'm just working my hardest to try and get up as fit as I can. And hopefully when I get on the pitch, I can do as well as I can and the gaff will make start me soon. And there's been a couple of changes, obviously, since you were at St Mirren and the side that they have that Jim Goodwin's got there. Do you think you'll be able to provide much insight ahead of tomorrow night's game? What do you mean? Sorry, I didn't really get a question. So looking at the players that are in the squad just now, some of them you will have played with. Do you think you'll be able to give some insight to Jack ahead of tomorrow night's game as to how Jim might set up? No, nah, I would never do that. Even if I asked the boys at St Mirren, they wouldn't tell me anyway because it's just... Just something you wouldn't ask.